Okay, now for all of you guys who think that I have like the perfect hair and I've been saying um, that my hair is very, very healthy, but I have some issues and um, some of my issues have come, uh, come along since I've gotten older and my locks have gotten older. So my locks, I'm going to take this out and we'll just kind of show you how it is right now. But my issue is right here, uh, all on, on top of the crown of my hair. So I'm going to take this out. I washed it yesterday. All right, so I want to um, just really share with you before I start uh, doing these transitional cuts and things uh, to my hair, some of my issues. While well, you, you guys call in all the time, you, you're um, sharing your issues with me. I'm, I'm, I give you suggestions and solutions and, and, and things like that. So now it's time for me to, to heed some of my own advice and do some of the things that I need to do for my hair and for myself, even though I freaking love my length. Okay? I love my length. <laughs> and um, I don't want to get rid of it. I don't know. Can, yeah. But I'm going to show you exactly where my issues, and I showed you kind of yesterday, but we'll go back up here. All this is very thin. I'm getting gray. I'm going to... No, keep still. Let me okay. do it. <laughs> And I'm being just real with y'all. It's not anything that I, I particularly want anybody to know about, but this is part of my sharing with you guys. And um, I don't want to show up. <laughs> oh, you got enough Javon there? <laughs> yeah, I just had to, grief. had to. You Did y'all see the gray? But anyway, I'm. I'm it's, and it's all through here. It's all through here. And what that is over time, and Javon has agreed with me that it's. It's the length, and I know it's the length. I know it's the length, and the weight over time. It's just like wearing the same style all the time, and I usually wear my hair just out like this or off to one side. The other thing, now for you guys who uh, think that you have a lot of frizzy and fuzziness, that's part of the locking process, and let me just show you around my edges. Like this hair, all oh, you always put a new couple of new locks in here, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they never really seem to form, and the ones that do are just real, you know, thin and frail. Here's another area. See? And then also, yeah, I hear him crying too. Right here. She's always putting a new lock here. Okay, this one took about a year or so ago, but this one has not. So, you know, th those are just some of the issues that I have. And then I'm, ooh, I'll even reveal this in the back. I get a lot of accumulation of lint back here in these locks. I don't know if you can see it. Do you see any lint back there, Javon? Mm, I, I can't. I know that area, but I don't know if the sunlight yeah. is bothering it. And then one more area I want to show you are my ends. Now my ends are my oldest part, um, and even though they were cut several years ago, you can see some lint and things like that. So you'll get that over time. It's almost inevitable. Not unless you just go around with your hair covered up all the time, 100% of the time. You're going to get this stuff that's rubbing up against your clothes and things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just start swinging my hair <laughs> for a little bit because it's going to be coming off tonight and then Javon's going to hook a sister up and you'll see me transition into shorter style so alright I need your support have a happy hair day <laughs>